Hmm. Hello, uh, my name is Chris and I'm going to show you how to play really easy guitar chords. You're just going to move one finger the whole time. Um, this is really nice when you're first starting out so you can start singing songs. Um, it's really nice to be able to worship and not worry so much about playing the guitar. So usually with these four chords that you can play any song with, and I'll teach you that on another video, um, they're going to be G, D, E minor, and C. And you're just going to move one finger. Um, so to start out with the G chord, you're going to take your pinky and you're going to put it on the third fret, bottom string of the guitar. You're going to put your ring finger right in, over that one on the next string up, third fret. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. And you're going to leave them there. They're not going to move the whole time. Next, you're going to take your, your middle finger, and I'm not flipping you off, you're going to take your middle finger, <laughs> and you're going to put it on the top string on the third fret, and that's your G. Um, it's going to touch this next string a little bit, and that's okay. We want to silence that string. It's going to touch that. So again, just don't move those two bottom fingers. Keep them there the whole time. And that's your G chord. All right, your next chord, we're going to do a D. So you're going to lift that top finger off. You're going to take this finger, your index finger, and you're going to put it on the second fret on the third string up. And that's you're going to be your D. So again, your G kind of put your finger there and get it ready and your D. So your G and your D. So you can put it right and get it there. G to D. One finger. Very easy. Next one is going to be your E minor. G, D. Again you're going to keep those two bottom fingers there. You're going to move this top finger, the same one you use for the D, the index finger, and you're going to put it on the second fret, second string down, right there. And it's naturally going to touch the, the string just below it. That's okay. It's going to be silent. So that's going to be your E. Just one finger moves at a time. See that? G, D, E minor. And the next one is going to be a C. And you're going to take this E minor. You can either just move that over one, like that. Or you can take your middle finger and you can put it on the third fret, second string. Just down one fret. See how easy that is? So G, D, E minor, C. Very easy. G, D, E minor, C. I'm going to show you how easy that is. Um, I'll talk to you in another video about putting a capo on and where to put it. But with a capo, you play everything relative to that capo. So I'm going to put this on the 5th fret. And I'm going to show you some things you can do with these chords. I'm just going to downstroke, real easy. Blessed be your name In the land that is plentiful Where the streams of abundance flow Blessed be your name play that through the whole song. There's another one we have on there, same chords, one finger chords. And if you look on the videos, you'll see that rhythm guitar is just one finger chords. That's all I'm doing. Um, you'll see another one on there. It's all I have is you. And Jesus, all I have is you. You're the hope I'm holding to. And I might weep, but still my faith. In you. Um, you can play any song with those four chords. Just put the capo in different places, and I'll talk to you, to you about that in other videos. Again, here's your G, here's your D, here's your E minor, and there's your C. One finger at a time. Very easy. I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> Very easy to do. G, D. E minor and C. 
And when you learn a song um, with these chords, just downstroke, just downstroke a little bit, just downstroke a little bit, get in the groove of the song, and then add more as you go. Start with a little bit, and then you build from there. This will give you a good, um, good fundamentals. It'll give you good dexterity for your fingers, and then from there you can start playing full chords. But full chords, there's a lot of changes. Um, so this is a, an easy way to do that. And I'll show you some more worship songs with that. Um, I pray that you're able to worship God. Um, I hope that I helped you. And um, I just pray that you're blessed, that your music ministry is blessed. And if you're not a Christian, um, here's some Christian chords. <laughs> we like to do things easy. And um, I just pray that you would come to a saving knowledge of Jesus. Um, and that you would have a relationship with him. He would move in your life and speak to you. That's it. Thank you.